I'm Brian Christner, and this is The Byte, a bite-sized podcast about containers, cloud, and tech. Welcome back to The Byte. In this episode, we're going to talk about Claire, a vulnerability static analysis tool for containers. Before we get started, I want to see a raise of hands who runs containers in production. Now, keep your hand up if you scan your images that are running in production. Now this is a question I ask in workshops to various banks and big customers that you would think would be doing this, and it's shocking. If we were all sitting in one room, I would imagine only 20% of us would still have our hands up saying we run production containers and we scan these containers, scan the container images. Now Claire is actually a brilliant tool. It was developed by CoreOS, which was acquired by Red Hat, which Red Hat was acquired by IBM, but it's still going. I mean, it's still active which is brilliant uh, because it's an awesome tool. Now, typically in the enterprise world, in the small medium enterprise, I mean, different segments, you have different options, right? I mean, typically if you are gonna do container security, you're gonna go with some sort of SaaS solution, one of the big vendors. And we're talking about Aqua Security, Neue Vector, Twistlock, I mean, just to name a couple of them. But Claire is actually the open source version. And obviously it is open source. I mean, you're not getting any SLAs or anything like that, but it does a great job. And what it does, I mean, it actually does static analysis and vulnerability scanning of your container images. And how that works, it regularly downloads the metadata from you know various sources, stores them in a database, and then compares the metadata versus your images that are running. This then provides you a notification and lets you know, hey, this particular image has vulnerabilities. And it'll notify you and it'll keep notifying you until you like silence the notification. Additionally, we can also integrate Claire into your CI CD pipeline, um, which allows us to, uh, as we build container images, we can actually, as it's pushed to a registry, Claire then fires up, scans the image, and then provides you like a report about the, the, if there's any vulnerabilities inside this image. So it integrates into your CSV pipeline, it integrates into various container registries, it has configurable notifications, so we can then push notifications to Slack or email or whatever notification system you want to use, Prometheus, for example, you can go to the Alert Manager. So it has a lot of different uh, possibilities there. It does integrate quite well to a bunch of different type of platforms. So if you go into the documentation on ClaireOS GitHub page, you go to integrations, you can see it obviously integrates into the CoreOS registry, which is Quayo. Um, it integrates into all sorts of different uh, projects. You can look through it. Like I said, it's an open source project. If you're not doing container scanning now, I would highly, highly recommend you use Claire. Then at least you have something. Right? Because many times people are not doing any scanning and it's better to do something. So, so at least you know, hey, it, do I have a heart bleed running around in my production systems? Do I have you know, any vulnerabilities that are like super like red alert? It's good to know at least baseline where I'm sitting. So I would recommend Claire if you're not running any security system. If you have the budget, I would definitely go for a enterprise solution, Aqua, Neuvector, Twitslock, or just to name a couple of them. But there's a lot of options out there, and I, I mean, security starts sooner than later. I mean, the sooner you can integrate this into your CI/CD pipeline, the better off you are. Give it a try. GitHub.com/forward/slash/coreos/forward/slash/claire. It's a great tool.